Well, hello, Molly. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Hello, Molly. Hello. <laughs> hello, Mama Bee. Hello, Killer Bees. It is so good to have you here in this household with us today. I won't lie to you. It's only Wednesday, but it's been a bad week. And I can't... I can truly not believe it's only Wednesday because we fit a whole lot of struggle into just three days. Um, but a bad week does not equal a bad life. So the thing to remember when you have a bad week is everything is going to be fine. All right. Just grab yourself a spindrift, take a few deep breaths, put on a bold lip and gallivant away. That's what I'm doing right now. We're gallivanting together. Gallivanting. <laughs> It's a good word. It's a good word. <laughs> Let's get into it. So you see from the title, I'm going over, I think, 12 different products that I bought on Amazon that you absolutely need to have in your life if you are blind. But honestly, even if you're not, these are just really useful tools. I will have every single one of them linked down in the description box below. I am so excited. I have been shopping up a storm getting stuff for my new condo specifically a lot of kitchen stuff because i am so excited to like to have this big beautiful kitchen and i'm really 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 determined to get more into cooking and push myself outside of my limits and outside of my comfort zone and lord knows i will take you on that journey with me and so i've been doing everything i can to prepare and i am so excited i know um, that Amazon as a platform can be like a little controversial, a little problematic, but I do just want to say um, that it's important to remember that platforms like that, although they may have their problem areas where we can all point out they need to improve, it is also a very accessible platform for somebody like myself. I can't just get in a car and drive around to five different stores to run my errands quickly like everybody else can. And I like to feel independent and Amazon like gives me the ability to independently shop and shop for lots of different things. I can get a snack, a kitchen product, I can get some beauty product replacements, cat food, like I can get everything I need in one place on my own. Um, and so I think although there's some problems, it also does solve other problems that exist for people like myself. Also, of course, when I go to a store, say I go to the drugstore, like just to pick up a few products, I either have to take my phone out and scan all the products till I find the ones I want, or I have to ask a sighted person for help. And Amazon allows me to do those things on my own. And I also do utilize the feature that allows you to pre-schedule like monthly deliveries. So just as a tip, if you're also blind, it's a great solution. I have my paper towel come to me every single month. My toilet paper come to me every single month. My Tide Pods come to me every single month so that I know I'm never gonna run out of those things, which is a super useful tool. So I do absolutely recognize that Amazon is not a perfect platform, but also it's important for people to recognize who might not um, have the same limitations or challenges as others to recognize that it is a platform that fills a need or a void that exists for some people in society. So I will have all of these products linked below if any of these you think will be useful for you, whether you're blind, disabled, or able-bodied. We're all queens and we all deserve to live a happy, healthy, independent life. So where should I start, Neve? Where should I start? Okay, I'm gonna scoot out. Now, full disclosure, I haven't like used all of these things, as you can see. She's still in her box, but I have a, on good authority, this is a really great tool. It had great reviews, <laughs> but also um, I found this because a couple of my blind followers um, told me about it when I was requesting help finding accessible kitchen tools. So shout out to all the blind folk that recommended this. Can you read what it's called, Navy B? It is the Kasori Air Fryer Jewel Blaze. It has 360 thermo IQ technology, dual heating elements, 12 customizable cooking features. It's it got Amazon Alexa, Bluetooth, Google Play App Store, two year warranty. So that sounds amazing. It has two drawers, which I love because it means you can put yeah. maybe like your meats on one and your veggies on the other and you can cook a whole meal at once. Oh, we can even get online recipes. Well, look at that. Yeah. Air fryers are such a great option for anybody, but particularly people who are disabled. I've heard so many disabled people and blind people rave about using air fryers for cooking and 
I have an air fryer, but it's not the most accessible and friendly. So I wanted to get one that I knew was going to be much easier for me to use. And that one does, as my mom said, work with Amazon Alexa, which I do have. And um, it also uh, has an accessible app. So there's a smart app that you can connect to this air fryer. I have been told by my good blind friends that the app that this air fryer uses is voiceover accessible. So I haven't used it yet, obviously, like I said, it's still in the box. I haven't tried the app yet, but I'm really excited to have an Alexa enabled smart app voiceover accessible air fryer to use when I get to my new kitchen. I can't wait for you to be cooking all these cooking delicious recipes Cooking up a storm for, for you, Eve. I'm really excited about that. Actually, what I really should have started with, which is an absolute necessity, is the Amazon Alexa. I have the HomePod. I actually got it like over four years ago when it like a first launched. I got the big one, the OG, like the month it came out, my parents got it for me for my birthday. I just moved to Los Angeles and I loved it. But then I got my Alexa, like I got the dot, the like little round one. I have two of them actually. And I'm like, oh, this is way better. I love the Amazon Alexa. Like I said, I just have the little dot echo. Is that what it's called? Amazon Echo? I'll link the exact one that I have down below, but it's absolutely superior in my opinion to the HomePod. I still have my HomePod. I still like it. But if you were to get one smart speaker of the two that I've tried, I would definitely recommend Alexa. And as it says, this does work with it. So get yourself an Alexa and a lot of these other products. And when I say a lot, I think it's maybe just one other product. <laughs> Works with Amazon oh. Alexa too. Lavender's in there. Good to help you. Oh. Thanks, Lavender, which is... <laughs> it's a workout and a YouTube video all in one. Okay, is this the front? Uh, yes. Okay, can you read us this one, Neve? That one is the Smart Pot. It's a crock pot, slow cooker, controlled from anywhere with Alexa. That's amazing. Uh, works with Alexa, obviously. Monitor remotely, voice controlled cooking. Yes, so once again, another Alexa option for cooking. Um, I have heard crock pots are really, 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 really easy to use because you know, you just shove a bunch of stuff in it in the morning, you leave, you do your thing, you come home and you've got yourself a stewy little dinner. Um, so please let me know if you have any favorite crock pot or air fryer recipes that you'd like to try to see me cook once I move into my new condo. Um, yeah. Something simple. So I found that when I was, when I found the air fryer, I also came across the crock pot and I can't remember about, about the crock pot, but the air fryer, just so you know, does come in two sizes. I did get the bigger one, but there is also just a one drawer option. But like I said, I, I have one of the one drawer ones and you just can't fit that much in it. So I'm excited to have the one with the two levels. Get yourself that crock pot. If you would like to be able to be like, Alexa, start my food. Fun. From home, from the office, like it's amazing. I know, it's amazing. So if you're having a good, yummy, delicious dinner, what do you need with it? Delightful bottle of wine, that's correct. I don't know about anybody else, but I am just like really, I've just never been good at opening a cork, like those cork screws. I'm not good. And so I try my best to get like screw tops, but I've absolutely accidentally gotten corks instead of screw tops and been like, the struggle bus is real. Um, and I feel like I'm not alone in that. Like I know a lot of sighted people who struggle with the corks too. So if you like me struggle with that, this tool is amazing. This is, I think it was like 35 bucks. Maybe not, it was definitely, it was absolutely under $40 and it is rechargeable and it is an electric corkscrew. So let me show it to you. I will open this live on camera, a real demo. So it has this that it comes with, which is the um, foil cutter. So around the top of the bottle of wine, obviously it always has the foil. I'm sorry if this is a rambly, weird, bad video. I'm so out of it today. I am not feeling myself. But anyways, you just- I'm fascinated. Thank you, Neve. Um, you are biased, but I do appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate the little try to, you know, the attempt at a boost of confidence. So basically you just put the foil cutter around and then you squeak. <laughs> I didn't put it in the right place. I was helping you with that and I just kind of randomly put it on there. Yeah, you're right. You did not put it in the right place. Ah, there we go. It's there. See? There we go. See, I will blame way you. Way better than me. So you just like put it around. Can you show us? Boom. Oh, oh sorry. Did I already okay. did it. It's really easy. There's, if you see there, there's like metal. Do you see the metal? Yes. Um, and you just make sure to 
place it like that and then you just twist it. Oh. It's like so easy. It really is. And then the little foil top comes off and then what you're gonna do is there's like a little hole and you can feel a little corkscrew in there. By the way, I should probably be doing this on a table. Is this red wine? Yes. Dangerous. Don't worry. It's okay. Risky games <laughs> we play in this household. Full... We'll see if I can. Again, the fun games we play. The risks we take for the riveting YouTube content. <laughs> that is this video. Riveting. So there's like just this. It's so simple to use because there's only the one button. So you prove just... it, Molly. Prove it. <laughs> Did it die? Did we not it, charge it? I charged it. What? Yeah. It died. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, take two. We're back. It's been charging for a little bit. Let's see if we can do it, okay? I believe in us. Oh my god, it's so crazy. It's like the craziest feeling. Ooh. 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 <laughs> the bottle's just like... Okay. Well, the cork's gone. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I think it's in here. Oh, it is. It is in there. It is. I was like, did I push it into the bottle? That was so good. I'm getting oaky aromas. <laughs> I guess we're having a glass of wine for dinner. There's a little bit of nutty undertones. This is my impersonation of a sommelier. One day... Goodness, Lavender's having a party today. It's buttery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just love pretending, you know. <laughs> I just love listening to like wine experts. I truly think what they do is incredible because they detect things that in my mind don't exist. I'm like, yeah, sure, no, oaky, buttery, nutty. <laughs> reads me like the description of wine, like, it has peachy undertones with a really nice Napa Valley. And I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I totally care about the region. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It makes it special though, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> I'll like drink a like, like $60 bottle that was like gifted to me because Lord knows I ain't spending 60 on a bottle of wine. And I like drink it, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally tastes different than that three buck chuck. <laughs> to totally. It's time for you to take a, a, a class. <laughs> you go to wine tastings more. But I, it's so funny because I am, I'm like joking about it. Wait, let's see how I get the cork out. Oh. <gasps> Easy go. Wow. Low key brilliant. Okay, anyways. Um, Love that. Love that for me. I, um, it's funny that I'm making fun of it because I actually genuinely, from like a young age, when I say young, obviously I mean of drinking age, but like most 19 year olds don't know that much about wine. But at 19, I knew like which varieties of wine I liked and which ones I didn't. So I'm like a slight wine snob in that I know that like my favorite reds are generally Marlowe's or Pinot Noirs and I don't like Rieslings. Um, um, well, I, there's actually a lot of whites that I don't like. I don't like super sweet wines. And when it comes to reds, I like generally more smooth, light red. Anyways, you probably don't care. On to the next thing. Okay, number five. Let's change it up from kitchen stuff. Um, I actually found this many, many, many months ago through Sierra Schultze, and I absolutely love it. So shout out to her. Um, this is great if you get eye pains or headaches. I know that I, my whole life, have gotten very bad eye pains, eye fatigue, um, stress headaches and eye pain is like a different type of pain it's like just this pressure behind your eyes and also I just want to say like if you're dealing with vision loss from a retinal related disease I'm only saying retinal related because that's what I can relate to it is like pretty common to get eye pain unfortunately and growing up I did a lot of ice packs like the ice eye packs and I still will use those sometimes but this has my I'm cat's just a, having a little moment. Yeah, my cat's a squirrely, whirly, girly, so don't mind her back there. But now this is like my absolute go-to combined with some like ar aromatherapy essential oils. Um, like from Sage Wellness, I use their Halo, Peppermint Halo, which is for headaches. I'll also link that down below. 
But um, yeah, basically this is a heated eye massager. So there's a bunch of different settings, but you turn it on just over here. There's like, I won't push it. It's like a finger touch pad thing, but it is tactile. And you strap around your face, you look like a cute little robot, and it heats up. It massages like your temples and eye area. It plays relaxing music. You can even put input your own music if you would like to, and then you can like charge it. It comes with the charging cord, of course. Yeah, really, 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 really love this. So if you've ever heard of one or considered it, um, or are looking for a new solution for eye pains, eye fatigue, and headaches, I would absolutely check this out on Amazon. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'd like to state for the record, I didn't assume you'd see my pants. The I wouldn't put these pants with this outfit in the real world. So. Wait, what's wrong with this? It's oh, the not, leggings? Yeah, the <laughs> leggings with the pocket. I'm wearing like workout leggings and then like a sweater vest. <laughs> working from home it's not a look but the, you weren't supposed to see the pants but now i realize you were. anyway number six on the list we're back to the kitchen this is a cuisinart electric can opener maybe i'll demonstrate this for you um but i have heard nothing but good things about electric can openers and i'm so excited um and again i think this is a great thing for like say somebody who is an amputee and only has or has a limb difference and only has the use of one arm um and i think of course able-bodied people always benefit from the same things we as disabled people generally benefit from so yeah would highly recommend i'm so excited to use this i think it's gonna make opening cans so much easier next up we have got this talking weigh scale so this is great for you know um weighing things and it in the kitchen yes it is a kitchen weigh scale thank you neve good point though they do also have a talking scale for human bodies which i will link down below as well i am not somebody who steps on a scale to weigh myself um but that's just a personal choice but if you are somebody who does that uh there are talking weigh scales so i will link that below but this one is just for food in the kitchen. This is what it looks like. It speaks in, there we go. Oh my Lord, so much packaging. So the other way around. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry for laughing. I know you're struggling a bit. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice mom. She's laughing because she knows I'm struggling. <laughs> Thank you, Neve. I am in fact having a bad week. <laughs> the reminder best to laugh at them. was really nice. Um, so you basically, yeah, put your stuff on here and all the buttons are tactile, which I'm very grateful for. I mean, makes sense, but yeah, it speaks in four different languages, but you can also turn the speech off. So if a sighted person in your household wants to weigh something and they don't want to be irritated by the voice, they don't have to be, but also, um, for those of us. Lavender's having a good time. I was hoping it would start talking if I pulled that out. Uh, Again, I haven't used it, but this was the one that was most recommended to me and also had great reviews on Amazon. So this is the one that I got and I'm really excited to be able to weigh things. Oh, oh it comes with yes, batteries. It does come with batteries. Yay. All of these things, by the way, we spent so many hours. I am like the person who reads all the reviews. So we spent a lot of hours finding the, the best of the best. This way? Uh, turn it the other uh, Nope. There. This is my vegetable chopper. I did pick a nice cute aqua color because why not have some fun? Um, and this has nine different options and apparently is very easy to clean. Again, there are ones that are less expensive, but this wasn't too pricey and it was like the most highly recommended. I literally read so many lists, okay? The amount of articles I read that were like the 10 best electric can openers, the 12 best vegetable choppers, I, all of them. I did all of them. Um, so I'm really excited to be dicing and slicing and chopping and doing all of the kitcheny things <laughs> with my safe vegetable chopper so I don't slice my little fingies off. This is an empty box, but I'm just showing you the box so you can see which one it is, if you can see. <laughs> what was that? What, what, was that? What, what just happened? <laughs> just a little piece of plastic. Stuff. I got it. Things are going offline. These are the Cuisinard knife. They come in like all different colors, 
like tons of different options there i got the 12 set um but they also have a six piece set um they have steak knives they have chef knives like they have all different options i got 12 of the like brights they're like a bright pastel color scheme and they're all different colors which i thought would be really helpful for blind people or like more like low vision people um because you can remember which knife is which color and what it does um and for me who can't see the colors just likes cute bright colored things but they also have jewel toned color ones they have patterned ones and then they of course have like simple ones for the boring people and the reason i liked this knife set is not only because they were such That's a good price to call somebody boring because they like simple i don't have to have my own opinion okay i think it's boring okay i mean i still love you <laughs> <laughs> like don't get me wrong Thank you. i don't dislike <laughs> the people i just think their taste is not my taste and the world is allowed to go around like that. I mean, because they also think my taste is obnoxious. Ah, true. There yeah. you go. Like, I think theirs is boring and they think I'm obnoxious. Mm -hmm. But we still love each other. Yeah. Yeah. I picked these because they have a guard over all of the knives. So if I stick my hand in the drawer, I'm not going to hurt myself. So the guard comes off like that. And we've got the pretty cute knife. Which color is this one, Mom? It's blue. It's beautiful. And then I can just feel... and slide it back on the correct way. There we go. I love these so much. And this was, for all 12 of these, was only $29, which I think is a very good Amazing. price. Let me show you some of the other styles and colors. We have this one. Red. What color is that? Red. Red. We have, oh, little Orange. baby. Orange. Look, you guys, like these are so cute. And honestly, they feel like great quality. Oh, Ben's even. You like this one? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to keep the knife. <laughs> He's taking it. Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> the drama from the corner. He literally took it like it was a bone. He was all ready to, to chew it like a bone. <laughs> We have lavender having a party. Ben is trying to eat the, 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 the queen's knife. hard knives. <laughs> and Gallup is just really being the goodest of boys. Well, no, no, he's interested too. He's like, yeah, but he's being a good, good boy. Like he wouldn't eat it. No, that's nasty. <laughs> he says that's not a bone. What was Ben thinking of? Yeah, he's literally <laughs> sniffing it. Like, why would I chew on that? And Ben's like, I'll chew on it. <laughs> See, this is why you get knives with covers on it because. He can't hurt himself, <laughs> even if he finds it. That is so funny. That's You're such a weird green. I still love being bright. So excited! Like spice up your life, you know. Why not have fun? Just kidding. Turns out I actually ordered the six-piece set instead of twelve. But that's okay. How many knives does one really need? We're not committing any crimes around here, so we don't need that many. Actually, let's transition to another non-kitchen item. That is a hair curling device. I will be doing a tutorial as soon as I order a new one. <laughs> um, somehow. Somehow <laughs> along, the, along the way, um, my Babyliss Miracurl <laughs> Pro 3 got lost. So I will be ordering a replacement one because finally I can actually curl my hair. So if you're a blind girl or boy, and you want to curl your hair independently, um, I absolutely highly recommend the Mirror Curl by Babyliss. For those who can see, here's a picture of it. I have not burned myself with it. I have had no problems curling my entire head. It's quick. It's easy. I'm obsessed. Everybody should have it, frankly. It's, it's so good. But I will say, word of warning, you do need to do it correctly. Otherwise, it'll eat your hair. So you I'll get stuck. Yeah, your hair will get stuck in it. So you've got to do it correctly. I made the mistake once and I never made it again because I know exactly how I'm supposed to do it. And if you do it the correct way, you won't have an issue. It's when you don't follow their instructions that's shocking. It's not going to work out well. I guess instructions exist for a reason. Mm -hmm. Back to the kitchen. This is also an empty box because we've been using this and this is the bagel guillotine, which I think is hilarious. Um, 
I don't eat a ton of gluten. In fact, I actually have to gluten load right now because I'm getting tested again for celiac disease. But um, I don't eat a ton of gluten. So this is for special occasions when I treat myself to a little bit of gluten. Or in this case, for the next four weeks when I'm eating a ton of gluten. Um, this works for bagels, but also works for other buns. I'm going to demonstrate. Do you have it, mom? Boys, koosh. Everybody, all the boys in this house, koosh. All the boys in the house, koosh, koosh. <laughs> Everybody in the house, koosh, koosh. <laughs> Ooh, uh, mommy's getting weird. They're okay. loving the bagel. Oh, what's it? Oh, oh. <laughs> just sit there. Now be careful with that. It's like a guillotine. <laughs> but very safe. When done properly. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that I purchased. There are other options, but I can only vouch for this one. And once again, you best believe I read a whole bunch of lists as to which was the best one. And this is apparently the OG, the original. This is amazing. It's very, it's very good. really easy. We've been use. using it. We've been spoiling ourselves with some bagels. As I said, I have to gluten load. If I must. Mm -hmm. By the way, whilst I'm gorging myself on gluten, comment and let me know what glutinous things I should eat. So I have the bagel in its little little home. He has no idea. He has no idea what's coming. Um, I love that the, it's like in plastic. So you really, you'd have to try, to be honest. You'd have to try to hurt yourself. So you basically just, this is a great thing for kids too. If you want to have your kid like start to be more independent, making breakfast or lunch for themselves. Boom, ready? You just push down. He's a little bit of brute strength. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's the other way, so you know, you're sitting it on the counter. Exactly. Usually like it's much easier. you've got a counter to push against, but I'm uh, we're makeshifting this on the couch. You pull it back up. Oh my god, the bagel smells so good. And then what do you know? Voila. You've got two perfectly even, perfectly cut halves. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is my final item I'm going to recommend. Now this one, I got at HomeSense, not on Amazon, but I will link one. They might have this exact one on Amazon, but if not, I will link a different one that's very similar. I drink lemon water every single morning, boil the kettle, grab a fresh lemon, slice it in half. <laughs> not for Ben Ben. Ben, you wouldn't like it. You would, I promise, Bugus, you would not like it. Make your mouth go... Mm. <laughs> it makes Ben Ben pucker. <laughs> so basically you take half the lemon, plop it on in there, and squish. Oh, and it... Allows you to turn the other way. Huh? Turn the lemon the other way. No, that is the correct direction. No, it's not. Yes. Because you want the juice to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it the other way. Flip it the other way. No, Ma, this is the correct way. It can't be mine because the juice is going to pour over the edges. So you flip it no. because you want the pressure on the lemon there. Now, when you squish down, the lemon juice will pour out. I would cut that top off normally. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, that's how I do it. And it works really well. Trust your mama. Trust your mama. Whatever. I mean, she has her opinion. I have mine. You know what I mean? So, like, you do you. Live your best life. You squish the lemon however you want to squish your lemon. But please comment and let me know who you think is correct. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's me. So. It's me. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let you take that. Obviously, of course, there's also things like liquid level indicators. I've never gotten one of mine on Amazon. But if I can find one, of course, you know, I'll link it down below. Um, that's just, like, so obvious I didn't even bother putting it on the list. But, like, yeah, of course. In case... In case you're new to the to the blind community get yourself a liquid level indicator so you stop spilling you won't regret it and also please if you are blind comment and let me know things to get on Amazon that like change your life make things easier allow you to be more independent especially if they're kitchen related because I'm telling you girl I am getting into cooking once I have this beautiful Bosch kitchen that I can talk to um, I'm gonna be trying my best to expand and push myself and I'm really excited but also if there's anything not kitchen related, household related, let me know. I'm excited to try new things and I feel like this next chapter of my life when I move into my new condo is going to be so exciting and I feel like it's my time. It's my time. Technology is here for us now more than ever and I'm really, really, really grateful. Um, when, I, when I think about where technology was in 1994 when I was born, and where it is today. It just gives me so much hope and so much excitement um, for not only my future, but especially for future generations of blind people. Like I truly feel like 
with the power of technology as long as we are kept in mind when it comes to the creation and design um sky's the limit for future blind people they will just have so much more access to being independent um and to living hopefully an easier life so i'm just really excited anyways that's that. Sorry this was a little kooky and all over the place. Shocker, you're on my channel. We ain't professional up in here. We're just real and down to earth, okay? We're just friends. We're just chilling with friends on here. We're not trying to be all like, here and welcome to this. It's not me. It's not me. Appreciate you sticking around. Anyways, until next time, you can click over here to, I don't know, see this video I did. <laughs> or over here um, to hear about me walking in LA Fashion Week. Gallop, we are gonna have to take that chain off, buddy. We are gonna have to take that chain off. It's very annoying, my man. It's very, yes, it's very annoying. Luckily, you're incredibly cute, so it's easy to forgive you. I love you. I love you. And yes, I love you too. Oh, yes, I love you, you too. can't show up because that's a mess down there. Like, really messy. Welcome okay. to my life. Okay, bye.